what's up youtube welcome back uh, so today is a short video and i'm just basically going to introduce you guys to another car that i did a while back that came in for some upgrades so this is kusain's uh, crx it's a k20 crx uh ep3 engine ep3 gearbox and we had it tuned on on data k pro the car was running great it made around 189 kilowatts so engine wise it's basically fairly stock if i put it that way the sub assembly is a, a stock sub assembly stock pistons rods uh, and oil pump and so on however the cylinder head we did tamper with a bit we did uh, some aftermarket cams and valve train as well as upgraded valves and intake side is still stock we did however replace the throttle body for a 70 mil throttle body and we've got a decent header on there and a 76 mil exhaust so that, that's about it the car currently um is i wouldn't necessarily say it's down in power because we did go to a different dyno so that was the reason for kusain bringing the car um we swapped out our data unit for a fuel tech ft450 so i wired it up i added a little switch panel and got the little base map going so i could drive the car and we sent the car out to jody at jvs for the final tuning so the car ended up making around 183 kilowatts at Jody's Dino, which is very impressive considering the car setup. Um, so yeah, this is a, a definitely a handful for the street. And that's actually a, a, a name I gave this car. This is still a road car. However, you guys can see there is a half cage. We remove the interior. Um, at the later stage, I'll probably paint up the rear interior as well, just to make it look much neater. We still have a passenger seat in, as well as the OEM driver's seat. And um, yeah, my name for this car is actually the Street Fighter. So that will most likely be the car's uh, or the video's title. So yeah, welcome to the Street Fighter. so um we still have a bit of stuff to do on the car and we're gonna try and get this car like ready for our next uh, race event which is on the 18th of september at kilani so what we what we might still add on to the fuel tech is maybe the rear wheel speed sensor and then with the rear wheel speed sensor we could use that um as a reference for uh, us to be able to use the active traction control so i wouldn't necessarily think we'd need traction control but you never know if it is there we might as well try it and see if it can help us um better our 60 foot off the line and so on so um that's our job for the car right now okay so this is my buddy over here he Hi has guys. he's he's helping me out a bit at, at the shop so um he has will probably film for us and give us give you guys a little glimpse on 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 some action so yeah let's uh take it for a drive and then just give you guys a little glimpse of on what the car is like now with uh, ft450 okay so this is our unit uh we we got ourselves a wireway switch panel installed and that will control ecu fuel pump um, as well as our nano this is all temporary uh, because later this car uh, the customer does plan on making this car like his full-on race car so at least we have all this white in already for the extra auxiliaries so for instance we'll have maybe let's say electronic water pump fan 
and whatever else let's say we could use that for his headlights at the later stage so we have it in but we are using it it's not obviously completely functional so the starter and stuff is not wired directly to the car just yet um but right now like i said ecu is on fuel pump and this is our nano so the reason why i wired the nano to the car is so that we could like preheat it before and before starting the car because that kind of helps um with like closed loop and all that so that's i just figured let's just use it seeing that it's easier so okay let's start it up Okay, so that will end of today's video um i'm still sitting in the sky here reminiscing on the past <laughs> um it reminds me so much of my crx when it was a k20 it was still a road car as well like cars like this you can have a whole lot of fun with um they light on fuel and they are extremely fast so obviously if you do plan on building something like this just be be safe out there and obviously you need to know exactly what it is you're gonna have under your foot so you need to obviously uh, learn as you go along if you're building something like this and you're not familiar with this kind of uh, performance so um yeah with that being said there's going to be much more information regarding this car however i, I have um on my instagram i have a little uh, highlight of this car when i first started it so basically from start to its current status is on my highlights on my instagram so what i'll do is i'll add all my social medias in the description box below to check out uh basically extra content regarding the cars that, I, that i'm busy building and as well as uh, tiktok so what i'm gonna do with tiktok is is basically uh, what i did for this car is create teasers for the youtube uh, channel so you'll be the first to know what's happening regarding the youtube channel and you'll have a little heads up for what's to come so yeah with that being said that will end this video of today um i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this uh, short video and obviously be sure to check out much more to come from this car so thank you for watching catch you guys soon